Hey everyone, so this is a quick video. Um, recently I had an issue, rather a coworker had an issue, where she had recorded something and the toolbar was on there and it was a PowerPoint that was 16 by 9, but her screen was 16 by 10 on her Mac, uh, which suck, by the way, Macs. They suck, so it doesn't, so don't iPhones. Um, so at any rate, she had the wrong proportions and she had stuff shown in there like the title bar as well and wanted to get rid of it. So here's how. Uh, I'm using OpenShot Video Editor, which I think I have other, uh, pretty sure I have other videos on in here um, as far as how to use it, how to do some things in it. So let's go over how to do it. So I'm going to use one of my previous videos just as an example. So, uh, like most video, like any video editor, you would drag your clip in, and let's say that this is the clip that I want to trim, again, horizontally or vertically, uh, to make it some different size, some different uh, resolution, or to cut things out of, or whatever. So, we would drag the clip in like normal, and then as you can see, so even right on this one, you can see it's a normal YouTube video I've done, uh, and so it's got the toolbar and it's got the menu bar and everything and if I were to just play it in Mac, but uh, for Windows and Mac, you're seeing all that crap. If I wanted to get rid of it, but still show the other stuff on the screen with OpenShot, the way to do it is you right click and come down here to transform. And now you see it's got these little toggles, these little handles on the corners and the sides. And it basically crops the video. Uh, so it's just like cropping a picture, but it's cropping the video. So let's say I want to get rid of me. Uh, well, so as you can see here, it's, it's stretching like that. So let's say I want to get rid of me. I can sort of stretch myself out of it. Click this and sort of realign it. Maybe stretch the title bar up out. Now you don't want to make the resolution like, you know, terrible. Like you can already see that that's kind of stretched. So you might want to grab this handle and bring it back to normal sort of. Maybe, yeah, let's get rid of me completely. And then let's get rid of the toolbar completely. I have no idea why you would want to show this in particular, but that's how you do it. And then basically you just save it and export like you would. Uh, just using OpenShot. So, um, yeah, just a little trick for how to sort of realign stuff. Uh, if you ever need to do it in one of your videos, it kind of comes in handy. In her case, she had a screen that was 2880 by 1800, I think. I think it was the Retina display, which is just a dumb gimmicky name for higher resolution than most. That's all. Um, I'm pretty sure it was 2880 by 1800, something like that. It was 16 by 10. And in the middle, she had a 16 by 9 presentation, which is sort of standard. I mean, it's an option on PowerPoint. You can do 4 by 3 or 16 by 9, and maybe you can do others, but I don't recall seeing it. But she had recorded it on her desktop, and so the resolution was off. This right here, um, put it into the viewport, which this is set up as 720p or you know I can bump it up to like 1080p or whatever um, yeah you know I could have saved it as 1080p had I wanted to as well or any of the other options in here um, but the viewing port right there was the correct 16 by 9 uh, ratio and so simply doing that saved her from having to re-record the whole thing which Admittedly, I think her her whole uh, video was only like 15 minutes long, and it took half an hour for this to re-encode. The thing is, when it's re-encoding, I'm just sitting there watching TV and the computer's doing the work. Um, so for me, it was a couple of clicks. For her, it would have been re-recording the entire thing, hoping that she doesn't make any mistakes in the audio again, uh, hoping that there are no other issues with the video for that matter. After figuring out how to switch it to 16 by nine or calling and asking someone or searching online or whatever, this was quicker. And she already had a good video other than the resolution, other than the, the ratio. Um, so that was the quickest, easiest way to fix it. And I just thought I'd share that because it was so damn easy 
and so damn convenient. And I could see it being used in a million other places. For that matter, if you just wanted to zoom in on a particular part of a screen, you could easily do it with that as well. You know, I mean, you can see that's what I'm doing right here. Um, so yeah, there are plenty of other things that you can do with this as well. So um, again, this is OpenShot. It's a free and open source uh, video editor that's much more fully featured than like um, the Windows video editor that's built into the Photos app for whatever reason, um, which I sort of get, but not really. But um, this is sort of a semi-professional suite, in my opinion. It's what I use for all of my school stuff, and it has never failed me. Uh, I believe you can also put, uh, add plugins to it to give it additional functionality. And since it's open source, it's constantly updated, it's fairly secure, uh, and it's totally free. And legitimately free. Not one of the free programs that you might find on Pirate Bay, but an actual free program. So, um, yeah, that's all this one was about. Hope that helps somebody out there. Have a great day.